If you can make it past this really cute llama planter, then you might actually see this precious plant right here, which is called a sedum barito. Uh, this is one of my favorite sedums because it can grow very long. People call it donkey's tail. There's also another one that looks like this that has a little bit of a chunkier variety of, of leaflet. But um, I love these plants. If you, it, I have one that's actually growing and has been growing for about three years in a hanging basket. And I really wish I could show you that one because it's like super long. Um, but there's no way that I could actually take it out without knocking all these little leaflets out, which is why I'm going to be like super ginger around this plant. If you ever order one of these plants online, I would do so at your own precaution because they do fall off quite readily. But the good news is that they actually, that's the best way to propagate these is actually shearing the leaf off near the stem and they'll start to grow all these other little, little babies off to the edge. So you could actually see some of those ones that are kind of growing here in, in the, the llama's back. Um, I have this growing in relatively full sun. It's about a half a foot away from a southwest facing window. The ones in the hanging basket are also pretty much up against the southwest facing window. So they're getting a lot of intense light. And I would just say, just make sure that you water them in relation to the light that you're giving it. So I'm watering probably once a week for these succulents. And you could say, see, I have a, like a pretty well draining mix. So I'm not letting their roots like sit in water because these little leaflets right here are nice water storage units for this particular plant. As far as fertilizer goes, that you could get like a nice succulent or cacti fertilizer. So maybe like a 277 or a 347 or something along those lines. I'd even like nix it in half. And if you're doing that on a monthly basis during the growing season, which is spring, summer, and fall, you're gonna be off to a good start. I haven't had any pest pressures with this particular plant, although I'm sure mealybugs would like to be chomping on these chewy little bits, but I've never had any problems with mealybugs, like knock on wood. And um, otherwise, I've never seen any other kind of, uh, of pest on these plants. And I think it's a beautiful one to have, especially if you love succulents, and especially if you have the light for them in your apartment or home.